see if I made a difference or if I just wasted 300 or 240 dollars. Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax. Today I'm going to do a minor upgrade to the garage. You see, when I built the garage, it was in the summer and I always had the doors open, brought in some light. I recently just did a project on the R32, uh, removing the rotors and calipers, and it was pretty dark for filming. So I thought I installed enough lights, but uh, it doesn't look like they are gonna be enough. I ordered these LEDs about three years ago for my previous garage, but they don't make them anymore. So I had to look for a different set. So what I found is, in those boxes right there, is six of these, two, two light bulbs um, per uh, unit. So there's 12 light bulbs, six sets, uh, and I've got two boxes. So I got 12 fittings to put in a garage. Uh, I'm gonna remove these ones, and I will put these on this side of the garage and figure out how I'm gonna install these 12 lights. I'm thinking four, eight, and then 12 on this, this last row back here. That should really brighten up the whole garage to help me with filming so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. As you can see, it's pretty pitch black in here. Uh, obviously when I face this way, it's fine, but there's many angles where it just doesn't work out for filming. And I think these lights need to be closer to the wall or just put another set here. Cause when I'm filming down here, you can't see anything. So let's jump into getting these installed quick and see how it looks. Oh, well, they're definitely nicely packed here. I looked at many different options for lights. Uh, looked at obsessed garage lights, uh, looked at various different garage lights, and really came down to uh, price. For $129 for each box, I really think this is the best bang um, for my buck. There's no reason in my mind to not try the cheap stuff and let you know how it works. Um, because, look, spending a hundred, uh, I think Matt Mormon's $129 for his lights, obviously he's tested them, but $129 for one of these with four light bulbs, $169 for one of these with six light bulbs. Uh, and I needed at least four or five of them, or probably six of those if I wanted them strategically placed around the garage. And that was getting up to $1,200, $1,300. I didn't want to spend $1,200, $1,300. Uh, so I decided to spend $240 to see how these are. Let's see, these also link to each other. So there is a outlet on this side, which works perfectly. There is a on off pull here. I don't want that, I'm not gonna use that. So what I'm gonna do is get an extension cord, make sure all these lights are on, and then probably just remove this because I don't like these dangling everywhere. What I'm also gonna do, this screw holes, uh, sc screw holders, sorry, right here, and I am not gonna use those. I'm just actually gonna drill through the the frame here and screw straight through um, these into the ceiling because organizing uh, these screws exactly where they belong will take too long and I don't really care that much. a TV in the garage hooked up to a streaming box um, I use the Amazon cube which is perfect because uh, 
mindless tasks you can watch a mindless movie to keep you entertained but anyways let me show you what I've done so I've got my 12 lights here I've drilled holes in all of them I've checked everything's worked and then I have removed the pulls uh, I just left a little in case for some stupid reason I want to turn them on now what I'm gonna do is figure out where to uh, or how to lay out the lights um, so I do think there are 12 lights I'm gonna remove these ones are hardwired in uh, I will update those one day what's annoying about these are whoever built this house these are commercial light bulbs or commercial fittings with commercial sized light bulbs so I can't get these light bulbs at Home Depot so I need to go somewhere else so I got a light bulb out down there uh, anyways so I'm gonna remove these two and those two lights and I think I'm gonna do four four and then four and if that doesn't help I'm just gonna pack up close up shop and you know nothing ventured nothing gained and clearly I failed then anyways <laughs> I'm gonna use my if you guys haven't used these before they're about a hundred bucks uh, it's a laser level they are perfect they're annoying because they beep when they're not level uh, but I guess that's it doing a job so I'll put a link to that below as well but I'm going to use that to at least uh, run a line down the ceiling so the all these lights are um, in line that way they look uniform I am NOT going to use anchors I'm just going to use deck screws or yeah I'm not going to waste my time with these uh, these lights are pretty damn uh, light <laughs> light lights light squared so I think those will hold if they don't then I'll go back and use anchors uh, but we don't have earthquakes here so I don't think these are ever going to fall out and those are also just screwed in the exact same way I don't think I have anchors there if I do I was dumb anyways undo lining them up Don't say I gotta do it to that side of the garage. <laughs> but let's. That looks brighter. Oh, that looks brighter. Look, it does look a bit brighter in here. I guess uh, you guys will know sooner than I will because I'm gonna go do those shots from each angle of the garage um, before and after and put them next to each other. are done I have three rows of four and then obviously the lights that came with the house but I do think it is much brighter um, I will play a before and after or I already have played a before and after 
So you tell me, I think, I think it is brighter. You can, well, I can see this better. I don't know if the camera can, but that's under the car. Maybe that's a bad thing. I don't know. Either way, so these lights, I got 12 now. I used to have four. So they better be brighter. If it's not brighter, then I'm just gonna pack up. <laughs> but anyways, what I do wanna do with those lights, well, I was gonna put them on that side of the garage, but those are the warm lights and these are the day, daytime lights. So they will look ugly if you can tell these ones are daytime or warm lights and these are daytime, the new ones. And it just looks ugly. One thing I do wanna do with lights the more I work under the car is, uh, and maybe I can do it with these lights because they won't be on all the time, the lights I just took down, but essentially install some lights along the inner side of the car lift so when I'm under there, I could just, you know, hit a switch and illuminate everything. Shouldn't be a problem with the cable because I already got the hydraulic line right here. But anyways, guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. I know it's just another garage build, but I did this mainly for you guys so you can see what I'm working on. Uh, I know it's been a bit dark, uh, but that's it. The last, well, I don't know why I say that, <laughs> another project off my list. Uh, I do think it's going to help. So if you have any questions about the lights, uh, leave a comment below. I'll also leave the link below. So this was $240-ish, $260 for 12 lights. They look great. Uh, they LED bulbs, uh, so they should last forever. And yeah, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to leave a like. Hit the notification bell, because I will be doing videos three times a week uh, until, you know, until I don't do videos three times a week. And yeah, hit the subscribe button. Until next time.